Well, we are following new developments this morning in the mass shooting that took place at a FedEx facility in Indianapolis last Thursday. Police say the 19-year-old gunman, who previously worked at the facility, legally bought the two assault rifles used in the attack, despite red flag laws designed to prevent exactly such a purchase. In March of 2020, police seized a shotgun from then 18-year-old Brandon Scott Hole after his mother raised alarms about his mental health. His mother raised alarms about his mental health. The gun that they took was not returned. But according to police, in the months that followed, Hole was able to legally purchase the two guns used in Thursday's attack. They were brought in July and September of 2020. Indiana's red flag law allows police to seize guns from people who show warning signs of violence. The law is intended to prevent people from purchasing or possessing a firearm if they are found by a judge to present an imminent risk to themselves or others. Officials have not said whether a judge made a red flag ruling in Hole's case. On Friday, President Biden spoke about this latest mass shooting. Every single day, every single day, there's a mass shooting in, this, in the United States, if you count all those who were killed out on the streets of our cities and our rural areas. It's a national embarrassment and must come to an end. Victoria, we actually have right now a national consensus, an overwhelming yeah. national consensus on uh, expanding background checks, universal background checks, background checks in private cells, background checks at gun shows, red flag laws. I could go down the list. It is, it is an expanding uh, consensus among Americans. And yet politicians in Washington, D.C., specifically Republicans in Washington, D.C., uh, have, have, have been working as much as they can to push back on any reasonable laws. Uh, even these red flag laws, uh, as, as some Republicans are supporting those. But for some reason, things just don't seem to happen in Washington, D.C. If there are ever any laws related to gun safety, is Joe Biden going to be able to do anything about that? Are we going to have more people pushing back on common sense gun safety regulation? Joe, I would argue that not only is there not going to be a pushback, but there is going to be a move in the other direction. And Joe, yesterday afternoon here in Austin, in the northwest part of the city, we saw another incident of, a, of an active shooter, a domestic violence dispute that spread out. Every day, we've gotten to the point where you have multiple incidents a week. It has become common. We no longer blink at it. And that is what is so wrong. But I do worry about what is going to be done, not just because of the defense being played on the part of the gun lobby, but active offense. Joe, here in the Texas Senate right now, we're seeing a lot of traction being gained for having handguns carried without permits, right? So we're, we're going in the opposite direction. And so when I'm sitting here in Austin and I'm seeing this type of legislation moving through, I feel very pessimistic at the thought that we're going to see some bold federal level moves because the, 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 the gun rights folks are alive and well, not just playing defense, but also offense at the same time. We well, you know, though, Cedric, mm -hmm. I, I, always, I always say this, it bears repeating here, though, because Victoria is so right. You look at the extremes uh, yeah. in, in the, and these extremes push the agenda far more than most Republicans. Most conservatives, uh, most gun owners, even most members of the NRA, you ask most members of the NRA whether they support universal background ch checks, enhanced background checks, 60, 70 percent of them say they do. Uh, you know, you, you're in Pensacola, my friends in Pensacola that, you know, uh, who, again, I always say, First Baptist Church who started going hunting with their dads when they were five, six, seven years old in the fall. They, they want universal background checks. They want red flag laws. They don't want terrorists to be able to walk up in gun shows and just pick up any type of gun they want to pick up. They want common sense gun safety laws, too. So this isn't about gun owners. This isn't even about members of the NRA. 
This is about those extreme 20 percent that are holding the rest of us hostage. Literally. But but really, you know what part of the issue is, uh, Joe, is this is, yes, we have a large part of the American population that want to have gun regulation. You know, we've seen the stats. We've seen the data. They want something done. But if you notice, in as much as majority, of, that's what the majority of Americans want. If you notice, what happens is that that doesn't change at the ballot box. Those same elected officials who are pushing are, are, are pushing away from 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 gun regulation of any sort, but they're still getting elected every year or every two years, every six years. So what the data may say may be one thing, but what happened at the voting booth is something entirely different. And I will tell you this, as being a former two-time police chief in this country, we have a real serious gun problem. And my concern has always been, at, as, as a chief, has been twofold. One, the safety of the community in which I was responsible for protect, protecting, but also the safety of police officers who were out here bravely, boldly trying to do a great mm -hmm. job. And they were coming up against weaponry more powerful than what they've had in their possession. So that's a real issue. So it's one thing for us to say, this is what the data say, we want gun control. Yes, we want gun control, we want new legislation, et cetera. But the American people are not acting out at the, the, the voter booth for change. That becomes the problem right there, Joe. Yeah. Cedric Alexander, thank you so much. Uh, once again, he is now an MSNBC law enforcement analyst. We'll be looking forward to hearing back from him. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.